And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, hello, and good time zone, everybody. This is Road to Dusk. I am here with another one. I'm hoping to be a chill stream for tonight. I was originally supposed to stream last night, but things kind of came up um, with stuff going on at the place where I currently live um, to where that wasn't able to happen, but I'm hoping today more specifically with a drawing stream we'll be able to make up for that if this will work as i intend unfortunately it is not wanting to communicate as i would like it to um, oh, wait, hold on. Did that work? No, that did not work. This is very confusing. Very confusing indeed. However, let me move to a spot to where you guys can see me talking. But, um, everything should get to... I need a moment to work with this because... I have a new program that I am using as recommended or recommended sort of kind of not by Dub Pitiful Almond, um, a, uh, a software called Air Server, which allows you to airplay your iOS products when you have a, a Microsoft or a PC like I do, which makes the situation with wanting to do like art commissions, whatever, a little bit easier for me as my tablet that I connect to my laptop is on the fritz. So my phone and my iPad are my way to go. So give me just a moment to see if I can rectify this little thing. No, how dare. How dare, excuse me, uh, I wish I was more professional. <laughs> we'll see, let's see. Um, why are you not wanting to cooperate? Let's see. No, I don't need you, excuse me. I do apologize for this, everybody. I hope that you all are doing okay. If you are just hopping into the chat, I do apologize for the chaos that is happening right now. I am currently trying to get a new program to possibly work for me. And I had everything tested before I was going to set up stream, but now it's on the, on the fritz. Huzzah. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out what I can do. Uh, let's see. Let's try media source maybe. Let's see if that does anything. No, that does not. That is not what I need. Uh, while I am working on this though, I am more than happy to chat, talk with anyone, um, give any information or ideas de depending on what you want to talk about as I'm trying to get this set up. I do have, I will forewarn everyone that I do have a text to speech bot. So anything that you put in the chat will be said basically over an intercom. This is to accommodate my, uh, my viewers and friends that may be visually impaired. So, please be mindful. But I do hope that everyone is doing well. If this will work for me, I would very much appreciate that. Let's 
and see if doing this will help it. Let's see if the good old did you turn it back on and then turn it back on kind of shtick will work. No! It does not. <laughs> I guess I am going to have to use my faulty tablet that I can connect to my computer because I have no idea why this is not wanting to work. I'll have to work on this somehow in the future, but um, give me just a moment. Hope you guys like the pretty music as I am going to find my tablet that I can connect to my computer and then I will bring my peanut gallery along since they wanted to vibe and chill along with me as I am working on some Bell fan art. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, and I should have everything in order. Now I just got to pull up my art program, see if that will cooperate with me. If I actually had a uh, window capture for my art program, that would be swell. There we go, and now we shall move it. Now... Have it fit in the... Man, did you know that people could get paid for being professional streamers? I sure shouldn't. <laughs> Alright, that should be good to go. I will switch the music since I think we've heard this a decent bit already. But with that, I am going to hop into, uh, hop into a chat with my peanut gallery. And please give a warm welcome to some other uh, newbie and like up and coming and just all around fun uh, Twitch streamers, asterisks, official, and Monkey Mallow. Hey, hey. Yeah, I migrated to like a secret server of mine when I was getting difficulties with air server. Dun dun dun! Secret server! <laughs> uh, I mean, I have a secret server outside of my official server because my official server is needing to be revived. <laughs> that mm. right yeah <laughs> Hey, 
If you ever feel like it's one or the other, it's probably both. Ooh. Yo. I've heard skull candies are pretty good. Right. Oof. Oh yeah, cause your makeup. You got a, you got something going on uh, this evening, don't you? Not this evening, but like coming up. Oh, brain, brain, time, weird. <laughs> right. Well, you try not to have too much fun. I mean, nothing beats that one night that you two uh, worked with. I forget who it was. But the night that you guys got first, that was awesome. Yeah, that sounds about right. Nice. Hehehe. <laughs> Bimo.
I really want to figure out how to get air server going. I don't know why it wasn't working earlier. No, this... Oh. I'm kind of talking to myself. I'm just like, I wish that air server was actually working. Because I don't know why it's not working. Because while, like, as I'm, like, drawing right now with my tablet, I'm realizing just how different my drawing style has to be with this compared to my iPad. Because I'm using, like, an old school Wacom Intuos. So... And with me being a lefty, I'm getting, like, just a lot of this extra, um, like, all this extra kind of streaking. Nope, oh, that was too many undos. So, so coming from someone that's not in the goth scene, isn't that just pastel goth? Okay. So, cyberpunk meets visual K? I did not know that one. Okay.
Oh. Hmm. <laughs> what? Nice. Uh, right. Um, try Slime Rancher, maybe? I'm trying, uh, how is, how is Belle's part? doesn't really have a part yep yeah I haven't I didn't get any word from my dad on like what he wants to do for uh, his commission so I'm I'm just wor working on Bell for now until then Right. No, that's valid. Um, what I was actually thinking of doing is like having, I'm not, sh I'm not sure a hundred percent if I want to do either just Suzu and Belle or if I want to also include uh, K and the dragon. But I do want to incorporate like some sort of like mirrored effect with it though. But like for now, I'm just wanting to try and get a sense of like how I want to draw Belle because Belle with her fashionista kind of spiel is a little more difficult for me to draw than Suzu because Suzu's just a schoolgirl. Which speaking of which of Belle's dresses do you think I should do? Yeah. I mean, every girl needs a little red dress. Ooh.
Yo. You can also mess with the, like, quality settings to set it at, like, um, lower quality. Wait, how far does her hair go? Oh, it's incredibly long. Jesus. Flippin' Disney's Tangled Logic is if it's in a ponytail in some way or braided despite it being canonically 70 feet long? Who gives a crap how long it actually is? <laughs> hmm. No, that's that's valid. Right. And also, you really shouldn't be having your CPU, like, higher than 95 for, like, too long, or else that'll really, really affect the longevity of your computer. Right. Right. There we go. Nice. Hmm. 
doing pretty well. Uh, hope you're doing pretty good. Oh, it's Zelda. Okay, Zelda's in my chat. <laughs> Not sure how. Mm. Yes, but what? Yes, but what time is it for you? Hmm. Lexi, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Okay, that's looking, that's looking a bit better, like what I'm wanting to go for. Okay. I think it's the body. Mm. Yeah, I think it's something about the body is not quite in the right spot. Yeah, the one eye that you do just like awesome and then it's the next one and you're like fuck, how can I repeat that? Uh if only if only we could do that for makeup, then theater makeup could be done so much easier. What? Yeah, that that's fair. You can only have like ramen like so many times.
Salem. Well, hey. What? Uh, I, I don't. I wasn't able to get, like, a, a category, because when I tried to, like, put myself up, like, oh, yeah, I'm doing art, it showed art, but I thought it was something of, like, a specific brand of, like, a show called art, so I just have not listed myself with a category. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. I mean, you don't got... I was going to say, it's not your, uh, your movie isn't that far away from you, is it? Okay. Damn. I what? What am I listening to? <laughs> Does <laughs> Monkey, that that was awesome. <laughs> I mean, you can clip it. Suzu is right hand dominant, right? That is super weird. I don't know why... I don't know why they can't be heard, because my desk... You guys are part of my desktop audio. Or at least you should be. Oh, wait, no. Nothing's nothing's coming up on my desktop. I have had music going on this entire time. Properties on my desktop audio. Don't 
Don't worry, it'd be like that sometimes. Okay. Wow. Uh, how long have I been going? Almost an hour in, and none of my music had been... Wow. <laughs> I said this at the beginning of my <laughs> the stream. The silence isn't intentional. The silence was not intentional. I, I said this at the very beginning of my screen of my stream before I let before I went back to the chat where I am with Lexi and Monkey here. How Bruh. in the how in the hell can people be professional streamers? Because I sure as fuck ain't one. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I've had moments like this all the time. There, there have been, you've seen me. I've had streams where I've been talking and like no one can hear you. I'm like motherfucker. Yeah, but, I forgot to unmute myself. But for a whole fucking hour. <laughs> Yeah, so um, we were also talking to you and uh, hey, Zelda, an and also like streamer. just generally talking amongst ourselves. <laughs> you were meant to be able to hear us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, say, we're not just here for we're not just here to make the aesthetic look cuter. We're we, we are here to talk as well. Okay, <laughs> and Zelda, thank right. you. You are a wholesome. You are a wholesome being. Wholesome. What's a wholesome? Wholesome. <laughs> Pardon my combo of a Midwestern accent and a speech impediment, damn you. Gotcha. It's all good. But also, I... I yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. No, I, all I'm amazing sorry. I'm looking at the uh, stream, and it's not picking up our uh, words as written oh for the caption so, yeah yeah so i thought we were talking it just you know wasn't doing it and now that we are talking it's still not doing it so yeah like, okay so no, that is potential <laughs> yeah i haven't quite figured out how to make it to where it will register you guys as well so that you guys are picked up for the captions that's okay Oh, thank you, Zelda. You're an amazing human being. Thank you for being here. Yes, it takes one to know one, Zelda. You are awesome, and we love you. Also, you missed um, the World Next Door stream. I'm very sorry about that. Right. And don't mind me, Zelda. Mm. I'm just over here doing my makeup trying to look pretty for tonight's uh, Barbie-themed party that I'm going to. <laughs> I hate to have missed Monkey's stream. I was doing things with family and couldn't be there. Aw, I'm sure it's all fine. Zelda just said, uh, I hate to have missed uh, Monkey's stream. I was doing things with the family and couldn't be there. Uh, no, that's okay. I was just um, mentioning it because I, th uh, you know, because we went through half the game and then you know, that was the other half and it's finished now. Mm, I wonder if there's... I want to mess with the captions to see if there's a way that I can incorporate you guys in some way into when I'm, like, including you guys into when the captions will register that something needs to be captioned. Hmm. Mm. I might have to figure out some way down the line to... I would have to talk with someone who knows a lot better about OBS and figure out to see if I can do either an alternate um, audio source that will incorporate like the entire voice chat. Mm -hmm. I don't know quite how that can be done done that makes sense yeah i can't think of it off the top of my head either yeah i, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a thing but i just can't think of it right now <laughs> and also i do one sorry no you're good i'm just also realizing i have there we go let's see trying to think also proportion yes so also i wish asterisks luck with her plans for later today hope she has fun zelda says settle good... down and love me zelda says good luck tonight uh 
Lexi, and mm-hmm. they hope that you have fun. I Aww. will have the time of my fucking life, and I'm going to be a plastic Barbie doll for the first time in my life. Thank you, Zelda. She's like, bitch, why are you holding me like this? <laughs> okay, it- I'm done being distracted. Let me finish off my makeup <laughs> and then I can move on to my outfit. Nice. She's like, I can't tell if I want to run away anymore because I'm getting all the pats. But also, this wasn't my idea. (laughs) Why does that just make me think of the one song from Swan Princess? This is not my idea. Oh, fun. I don't know. (laughs) Did either of you grow up with uh, Swan Princess? I did. I, I didn't, but I know of the movie. I had a lunchbox with the Swan Princess on it. I had it on VHS when I was little, little. Very nice. What is up with her? Another reason on why I don't like drawing as much on my computer as I do on my tablet, which I can't do right now, Mm -hmm. is I don't have as easy of control and sight of proportions until it's like almost too late and with how streaky and sketchy looking my drawing is on my computer it just makes me feel like like I'm drawing all the worse I feel that I fucked up my wings I need to fix that oh yeah how could this happen to me Before I forget, if neither of you have done so yet, make sure to hydrate and stretch every once in a while. I don't have any Q-tips, so I gotta be very, ever so gently with this. I mean, I have Dr. Pepper. Does that count for hydrating? (laughs) No. (laughs) How dare. It's all good. I I am hydrating, Zelda. Don't don't worry about that. (laughs) I'll tell the rest of these thirsty hoes to get some water in them. Thank you. See, I, I would if I could, but there's there's strangers upstairs, and I don't want to go upstairs. When you ward it that way, there's so, it raised so many questions. <laughs> yeah, just like, are you trapped in, in a house with Help. stalkers? And you're no, just... no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Help sorry. me. I, I'm, I'm forced to stream in this basement of mine. <laughs> How could this happen to me? And made my mistakes. <laughs> I know no, it's just that uh, my fiance's mom has um, that has a family over, and they have like the whole first floor right now, and I'm just being my normal self, being a hermit mm-hmm. downstairs. Gotcha. So I I think the butt might be a little bit too big. What I was kind of thinking, like I I wasn't imagining this to be the butt. I was imagining it to be the skirt for the dress. Oh, okay, fair. Let's perfect. The I wing. feel like, um, just some. I think I might just need to redo this entirely because like this is starting to drive me nuts. No. I'm gonna. St- Start this with. I'm gonna start this with an armature this time, because I think that's one thing that screwed me over last time. I didn't start with the armature. I hate my wings. I just want to. I just. I just want to crawl into a hole and say fuck my wings. I hate this. Elfina snoring. Oh, your cat. <laughs> Yeah, I was just like, what's that noise? <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, I think I hear it. <laughs> Cute. 
I'm gonna kind of try not to worry too much about that part of my face. Move on to eye. Okay. Eyelashes. Eyelashes will fix it. It won't fix it. it this is this is why I never do makeup streams. I'm like, we're just gonna add some extra color. It's gonna look pretty. I fucked up my wings. There's no point to living anymore. Pass the point of no return. We're just gonna fix it with some contouring and you use the wrong shade. Why are you doing this to yourself? Do you enjoy? You know what? This actually would make a commentary if I did. <laughs> <laughs> Next donation stream, make it a makeup stream. Everyone gets the highest don donations that a lot get to pick up my colors. And just like that, I booped my nose, and now I have a little bit of eye of eyeliner on it. Oof. Yep. Yep. This is my Asterisks life. Risks be like. I chose this hole, and I'm sinking in it. Just to suffer. <laughs> Zelda just said, Asterix be like, why are you still here just to suffer? <laughs> it really be like that, Zelda. Beauty is pain, and beauty is more pain. <laughs> it is layers upon layers of pain. I, put, I, wear, I wear the right type of shoes. My heels are going to hurt, and I'm going to have a blister. I'm going to I'm going to be taking the... I'm going to be... I'll have a night where I have the best makeup of my life. My photos come out blurry. Existence is pain. For a baby dump. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, you put a picture of Delphine? And Shadow. Aww. Okay. Yo, my lashes be looking fun. Okay. Okay. I can forgive myself for the wings that are non-existent. <sighs> okay, so that's done. Blush. That's the last touch I need. Yeah, I would say that's important. So, um... You know how I'm, like seven away from pretty uh, as hell and gorgeous sorry what <laughs> seven away from uh the 50 that i need yeah my view my view my views have gone down so i, I need to try and maintain an average of three views per stream mm -hmm. yeah well zelda you know what to do <laughs> But also, it's all just one person. Thank you much. Yeah, but that's one Still. third. That's already one third of your audience. True. A minimum audience. You, me, you got me True. lurking all the time, though. True. See, there's two thirds. I'll do my best. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it is at two. Yeah, my average is at two. Oh, thank you, Zelda. Do you ever um, keep a brow? Do you ever keep a browser, op uh, tab browser open on your stream? Who? You. Me. No. Yeah. You should. I mean, sometimes. I can't, though. Okay. Then have your phone set up. To watch my own stuff? Yep. Oh, does it count? Crack yes, the system! Does. Okay. When I first started okay. streaming and my roommate used to tell me, Hey, uh, can you make sure your phone or one of your tabs is open on me? I said, sure thing. And uh, that's how he had four additional viewers for his streams when he started off. Well, hey... Oh. Zelda will do your best. Zelda, you're already doing your best. You are. And that's all we ever ask. Yeah. Okay, it's not the best look. Okay, I have one last touch to do, but I won't be able to hear you guys, so excuse okay. me while I contour the fuck out of my face, contort every aspect of my goddamn chin and mm -hmm. facial structure. Do what you got to. <laughs> I shall. I'll be right back. Okay. I have to go even further beyond. But yeah. Um. I don't know. It's just one of those things where I'm like, ooh, okay. 
next hurdle, you know? Yeah. No, that's understandable. Hello, yay boom. Oh. That was me. Oh. <laughs> So you have four watchers. Yeah, I... A after that talk, I was like, oh yeah, that's the thing. And so I actually pulled my phone and my tablet to pull up the stream on those ends. Oh. Sorry, the cat's head started pressing the plus button. Oh. <laughs> All good. At Monkey Mallow, hey. You almost had a cat speak to you. An amazing streamer and an adorable bean named Monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Zelda just said something for you in the chat. <laughs> Thank you. You say it almost like it's a nature documentary. <laughs> You're yeah. not meant to be here. And here we have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we have the copper colored monkey. <laughs> native. Native to the Isle of Green. That is true. Sorry, I, I wanted to try and figure out a poetic way to say where you live without accidentally doxing you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I... At Hunborough accent the intensifies. Is, right. Wait, what was... <laughs> I keep forgetting. I'm I'm so used to j just hearing that accent be memefied that I keep forgetting that that is meant to be Attenborough. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh well. <laughs> All right. So we're thinking HTTPS oh. colon slash slash clips oh. dot twitch dot TV slash comfortable dull oh, L dun Lingaus <laughs> gold hyphen <laughs> side I KHEPL six Q O A O five M. I thought I told the chat the TTS not to say links. Hold on. It's a clip. It's I don't know. Yeah, but it's still like a, a link in some way, oh, and I thought I told okay. it. So um, you wanted it not to do that? I see. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like. Links. Yeah, it's fine to know like when clips are there, but it's mm -hmm. overstimulating, at least for me, and I'm also thinking for the sake of others, for a, for a link to be read out like character by character, because that's what the oh. text to speech does. Is right, okay. I see. That's bad. Uh, t -t 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 filters. Road and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray. Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, Slash G means genuine tone, slash J means joking tone, slash HJ means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. I am. Er, I'm gonna have to figure out later. Probably tonight. The fuck did I miss about two. this nature documentary? <laughs> <laughs> so there was a point where. I forget 100% exactly. Uh, a clip is actually in the chat now for it. But... Y'all are amazing and adorable slash G slash SRS. <laughs> uh, found it. Thank you, Zelda. And thank you for using the tone indicators. You, you... Wholesome... 
I, I don't know how, how else I can affectionately, lovingly, yet also, like, jokingly in a yelling kind of way, like, just give affection to you, because dag nabbit. Zelda, I'm going to love and tolerate the ever-living shit out of you, you precious I'm a marshmallow. Being. I found Barbie pink nail polish. Hey, nice. But this is the last this is the last step in my makeup before I move on to my outfit. God, this is so hot pink. I mean, is that not Barbie's aesthetic though? It is. It is definitely going to be fit it's going to fit the vibe. I want to hit the road a little bit, and I'm going to probably go through like a Panda Express drive through and get myself some Crab Rangoons. Ooh. Crab Rangoons be cheap as hell from over there. Also, Monkey, I hope you weren't freaked out by the expressions I was just making a few minutes ago. I banged my elbow against the, against the table, and I screamed, and I flicked off my table. <laughs> are her hips too low? I feel like her hips are too low. Uh... Speaking of food, I'm gonna are grab you, a snack real quick. Do you have a reference quick. anywhere? I'm trying to use um, references from like Google searches because I'm tentative to actually show the pictures because I don't know if having the pictures actually in the scene will will cause like any like anything uh, bad. I think it might be okay. fine, but that's just me. Hmm. Shit, 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 shit. You, you good? Uh, well, I prevented a spill. Um, okay, so I have this really cool um, nail polish remover bottle, and all mm -hmm. you have to do is you take you take the uh, the pad or you take the cotton ball, you just gently press down on it, and it will absorb it. Mm -hmm. so, it so it it prevents messes. But the thing is, I'm like just slowly tap it, slowly tap it, and I can feel it. Like wanting to just drip down everywhere. I'm like, I just need a little bit of nail polish. Yeah. That's all I want. And, but it almost like spilled everywhere. I'm like, God damn it. You're making this difficult on me. You would think that, nah, who am I kidding? Nails are never, are never easy. Josephine is streaming. Yep. She's uh, been Rick streaming. Uh, streaming. Rink is streaming. Crisis is streaming. Man, got all yeah. the people streaming. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, uh Demo or Mothman is back again. Nice. I haven't, him. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, they were streaming earlier. I don't know them though. Mm -hmm. oh. They're part of our they're part of the uh Firefox circle. Mm. Just been a while since I've seen Demo. Mm -hmm. I drew a picture of him a long time ago. It was like, it was like that, that no bitches uh, meme, but he's like, no lamp. <laughs> I'm near tempted just for the sake of time for now, because I, I want to keep streaming until like either... 11 or midnight my time so i don't think nope. i'm going to get to both bell and suzu so i'm tempted to just kind of mess with the canvas and just draw one of them for now you you do you boo you can start when it comes to art streams these things can be on can be going on forever and that's totally fine like hannah 
she uh she will stream for about five hours if not six just working on artwork dang mm -hmm. either way your art will turn out well i think that's the cool thing about streaming art is that it doesn't matter how far you you go with it if there's progress people are going to want to see and watch hmm and thank you zelda i i appreciate i appreciate the cheer and the support mm-hmm it'll come out it'll, it'll come out well God damn, this is so pink. Like, I, I like pastel pink. Like, my walls in my bedroom are pastel pink. But I'm not used to Barbie pink. Yeah. Okay. It's almost over. Very nice. I'm really not the best when it comes to doing nails, but I'm like, it's for the aesthetic. It's gonna be pretty. Shit, it's already eight, already after eight. So I need to hit the road in the next 30 minutes. Yeah. I know on my drive there, I'm, I'm not listening to any pretty songs. I'm listening to like, my hard aggr my hard aggressive, Nine Inch Nails Deftones mix. <laughs> so it's just gonna be me dolled up and, pr and like a Barbie doll, and I'm yelling out in my car, guns, razors, and knives. I mean, you do you, I do me, and we won't do each other. No. Why? Why you gotta put it that way? <laughs> <laughs> because it's uh, it's part it's primarily an inside joke between my fiance and I because we both watch Markiplier, and during I one of Markiplier. his FNAF, during one of his FNAF plays, he said, "You do you, I do me, and we won't do each other." I probably. do remember that. <laughs> probably keyword. Probably keyword. Uh, I remember that quote. It's a classic. It is a classic. Markiplier is best boy. He is. Okay, so I have a top for tonight. I have a skirt. Nice. I have mm -hmm. a. I'm gonna go ahead and compare the shoes with you with you both, and then. Hmm. Fuck! I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. Fuck it. I'm just gonna do my usual hair. I don't care. Fuck it. I don't care. Yeah, you don't got a lot of time. I don't. Seems to be the story of my life. Trying to help uh, Rinka because she's got an echo going on. Oh, my gosh! I think asterisks will still How look nice, it? even if it, she doesn't well, do it her was hair. There, Zelda says, it, uh, "Lexi, uh, they think that you will look nice even uh, regardless of how you do your hair." Oh well, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, hello, oh, hello oh. Josephine. Hola, cómo estás? Muy bien. ¿Y tú? 
Y tú. Ok, good enough. I was about to say, this is where you say más o menos, or así, así. Así, así. Más right, o menos es more... I think it was my fault. Más o menos es oh, more okay, like ahead. Mexican Spanish, more. right? It is. Well, it, the thing about it is it's it, it's not a proper um, <clears throat> response. It's actually something I used to say, and I've realized over time it's not proper in the in sense because more uh, más y menos just means more or less, but like mm. it's not... I, I maybe just for Tex Max it doesn't apply, but for like actual Hi, Mexican two. Spanish it does Feel apply. Like insert squeaky door noises anyway, here. Uh Josephine, <laughs> we are live right now on uh Rhodes channel. I am live on my own. Nice. Say hi. Hell yeah. You having a good time oh. with the Warframes? Uh I switched to Destiny right now. Gotcha. Nice. Yes. I am doing my hair. I'm doing my makeup right now because I'm going to a Barbie bimbo party. Oh, yeah. My nails are, have been painted in the most um, Barbie esque color I have in my arsenal. I mean, it doesn't look pink. That's because <laughs> the light. That's because of the lighting. Uh, oh, it looks pink. I guess I'll go fuck. So. Oh, <laughs> Do I look pink? Yes, I do. Is it the lighting? Yes, it is. I'm a lot paler than this. <laughs> also, I have a tan at the minute. Don't I'm know very... if anybody noticed, but I, I do. I have a tan I'm right now. Oh man, I'm super tan right now. Like I'm at like, I'm at my brownest right now, but it's gotten to the point where I'm now burning. Mm. This girl's on fire. Is what I'm trying to say. This girl is on fire. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds like something you should go to the hospital for. <laughs> I, might, I, I might have to see a dermatologist, possibly. Also, uh, Zelda said earlier to Josephine squeaking, I too feel like insert squeaky door noises here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's hilarious. Also, anyone want to acknowledge that Monkey and I accidentally Whoa. harmonize? Three. I enjoyed sure. it. Four. Yeah. Ooh, I just got a lights out. Let's go. Ah! Fire. Ooh. Currently, I am in the middle of uh, a match called Mayhem. Ooh. You, you're in a match named after yourself? <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay, then. <gasps> oh! I get to use my new lip lipstick tonight. Hold up. Ooh. You find that. So I don't want to play League, but now Rink is playing League and I want to play League. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm, seeing a, I'm seeing a pattern here, Monkey. I don't like games until other friends are playing them? Yeah, uh, totally. um, it's it, Basically, it's the whole Monkey see, Monkey do. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm only gonna use that joke once. That mm -hmm. one was too easy for me. Nah, that need when when you hit affiliate, I should prob like for one of the uh, emotes that you should have, it should be a monkey see monkey do. You should. It'd be cute as hell. So. Blech. Again, yeah. I think I might move my cat emojis to my Discord once I start using that because I'm kind of going for like the monkey theme and yeah. Yeah, no, that's totally understandable. Yeah, but I still want one of each of the cats at least and then um, see what, where it goes from there. Yeah. I still haven't figured out what I want yet, but like I'm still like not there yet, so I'm just like getting yeah. the stuff that I can use now and planning the stuff I can use later. <laughs> right, exactly. No, understandable. And oh then, shit! And I then... forgot I had this. Hold up, I got something to show y'all. Ooh. I have. So I was helping my my uh, my god my godparents pack up and move a lot of their things. Right. I forgot that this existed. And I was like, I'm not going to need it. I don't fucking need it. Now I do need it. Problem is, I need... How many batteries does this bitch use up? 
four. Four. What is it? Zipoid. Is it? it is a Con Air nail polish fan. Yo! So you just nice. put your hands on the panel and it dries your your fingertips. And the thing is, this thing was made in 2001. And I opened the package when I read the manual through it. And Yo. I had, without, without a doubt, one of the weirdest things I've ever seen from Con Air. Con Air is a fucking beauty brand, okay? So when I opened up the manual and it had like insertion yes it is uh when i opened it up it basically was like had questionnaires about like beauty products they had like a little, a little survey for like what kind of products you buy from con air is it our our hair dryers or uh hair straighteners etc etc um this had the weirdest fucking thing ever ever it was it started going into more detail because they want to ask like okay uh, if you want to sign up for our subscription thing, we want to know a little bit more about you. What products do you buy? What products do you recommend? How long have you been buying from us? Also, uh, how many member family members are in your household? What's your what's your annual income? What kind of job? Which of these pro of the following questions best suit your job? Like, I get what they're asking for, but I'm like, this is this just feels super sus. Yeah, this right. is a bit much. What is your blood type? What is your blood type? What kind? Oh, they asked me what kind of car do I drive? Oh. <gasps> That's your, what kind of car do you drive? What's your annual income? What is, uh, if you had to pick between a cell phone provider, which of the following is most supported in your local area? Just bullshit like this. And I kept thinking, no, no, Con Air, I will not give you this information. I'm glad that this thing is dated to 2001. <laughs> but I can't use the goddamn thing to dry my fingertips because I don't have four fucking batteries to spare. I need to Ooh, order some goddamn I... batteries. So I think I told you this story mm -hmm. um, where I had the top coat that would turn whatever color I have into mm -hmm. a matte look. Mm -hmm. um, I found out you have mm -hmm. to dry that with an LED lamp. Oh, oh, oh. My, now, the good news is at the time I did it at my partner's place and my partner has an LED lamp because she works with resin and she makes her own dice. Nice. Yo. Oh. And it's like, okay, I'll use that. So it quick dries mm -hmm. the the top coat. Yeah. So if any of that is on your skin. It quick dries it on your skin. It burns like mm -hmm. hell. I found that out the hard way. Oh, no. Uh, Damn. That does not sound fun. I mean, my everything was fine. Like it was okay. I just stung, and I just looked at her. I'm like, "You were right. Beauty is pain." <laughs> That's all I've been saying all throughout this fucking stream. Also, give me a moment. I need to start getting dressed. Yeah. So I will show off the outfit that I'm wearing for tonight. Okay. Josephine's over here, like, not even acknowledging this beauty over here. I'm just saying. Listen, I'm just saying. You don't need acknowledgement. You're hot as fuck, and we already know it. Also, I'm I'm in I'm busy murdering guardians. <laughs> Valid. <clears throat> I guess. <laughs> All right, be right back. Okay. Yo, is that a mango? Mhm. Mm ah, uh, those are huge. I like mango flavored like anything, but I've actually sat down and thought to myself, huh. I've never eaten a mango. I love mango. I've actually recently found that there is one thing that I do not like uh, as mango flavored. Mm. Mochi. <gasps> I love that stuff. Like, I'm okay with mango flavored mochi ice cream. But yeah, that's... Mo mango mochi on its own, I do not like. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I just had some. Like, I, I bought some and I left it at my partner's place. Anytime I would visit there, I would just have one. But it was like a little frozen mochi thing with ice cream in the middle. And yeah, yeah. Mango, and it's delicious. I used very, to go. I used to sticky. get that. Oh, yeah. I used to get that all the time when I went to. There was this cute little sushi shop. This, uh. This, like. Uh, Korean fusion sushi shop that was right near. The university that I that I recently graduated from, and they would even have like some really good kimchi, like there as well. So like I would have 
like sushi with like kochujan uh, on it um or like like no kochujan is the pepper kochukaru is the the sauce the paste so it, mm-hmm. i would have sushi that would have like kochukaru on it with some kimchi on the side um and to like round things off like towards the end i would have some of the mochi ice cream because the dairy and whatever from the from the ice cream helps to curb the capsaicin so it was a really nice way to just end my time at at that restaurant it was super nice nice cool yeah I'm so tired. Well, why don't you go sleep then? Never. I have energy drinks. <laughs> <laughs> the the timing of that was just was just perfect perfect to me. <laughs> yes. No, I was I was playing Warframe uh, earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, for a couple hours it seemed. Holy shit. And um, I'm like getting near to the point where I'm about to take my break because I told myself, all right, I think I'm going to need a little pick me up because I'm starting to feel tired, but I don't want to stop streaming. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to take my break, guys. And I was just like, oh, God, I'm so tired. Mm-hmm. I went to the gas station. And it's like nothing in their freezer was cold. I'm like, what is happening, sir? Nothing in here is cold. Our freezer broke. You sons of bitches. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to drink it anyway. I don't care. (laughs) That's right, everyone. I'm the girl that would drink room temp soda. My my fiance actually gets like so confused when I am open to drinking like flat soda. I get it. it. It's it's a little weird. I think it depends on what kind. Yeah, for for me it depends like as well. But when I'm not in a picky mood, like I will just drink whatever, whether it's tea whether it's soda like if it's non-alcoholic like it goes in the gullet Uh, yeah oh god i'm dying in game or yeah oh god (laughs) so i don't know if you play destiny I do not, but I don't mind spoilers. Well, it's not a spoiler thing. It's more of just what's going on right now. Okay. Um, Mayhem is a PvP battle mode where everyone's super and all your energy stuff is supercharged. So meaning, like, you get your supers way faster and you can just, like, spam them. And hence why it's called Mayhem. Hmm. So I turn the corner, and there's a fucking hunter with a golden gun, and my face is gone. Well, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> that's rough, buddy. No, you missed it. Lexi did another, um, another Avatar uh, joke, and when I mentioned that. I had gone into a different uh, chat for a bit when I was doing my intro. I mentioned it was a secret Uh, server, and she went, secret server! (laughs) Welcome back. What's up? I've got clean hands now. Yay! Oh god, he's so mad. Also, now that I... See League again? I don't want to play it. <laughs> League is fun, though. Question mark. <laughs> I don't like the clicking to move. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that I haven't is played fair. in a while. My main was get get this. My main was a slime. 
Cute. His name is Zach. He's so fucking cute. He's like, so I share lore with Zach for a little bit because his, like, the his lore idea is that his parents were, uh, Zon scientists. I forgot the actual, oh God, there goes my brains. Hmm. Um, they were scientists. They didn't want to use him as like an evil weapon. So they're like, okay, we're going to kidnap him and raise him like a child. And then he kind of became a superhero and he's just literally slime he is just goo man oh and he's my main he's only one of the few that i got like a high mastery on mm. yeah and the no uh bullets my only weakness hmm Uh, I'm glad you guys cannot hear what I'm hearing right now. Upstairs, um, my fiance's mom's dog is just going hog wild uh, in the backyard. I see. What kind of dog? A uh, poodle cavalier mix. So it's evil. It is evil. Not as evil wow. as a chihuahua, but up there. You say that, but I've met, like, three really chill chihuahuas. And they were all owned by my cousin, slash, and my aunt. Ah, uh, fair. All they wanted was attention, but not to be picked up. That's it. Just like a cat. Trying to figure out how I can do this hand. I have never been to art school, and it clearly shows. What are you streaming? Uh, I'm drawing um, some fan art for Belle. I was originally thinking of what, of doing commissions, but my father hasn't gotten to me on what he wants for his commission, so I'm doing this instead. Welcome back. Welcome back. <clears throat> Want to take a sneak oh, peek? I like the skirt. That is cute. A lot. I was going to say, I can't. Hello. Very cute. Yeah, I really like it. I want that shirt. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, ice mm -hmm. turret. Uh... Pink. 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 This bitch hit me with a storm tracer. Hmm. Right up. Barely hear Hi. you, love. She said, "Be right back." Spooky chat noises for text to speech to say. <laughs> what? Zelda just put in uh, in chat because I have text to speech going on. Spooky chat noises for text to speech to say. <laughs> because there was silence going on. I see. Welcome back. Do, do, do. Thank you. Okay, so finishing touches, my perfume for the night. Ooh. 
This is a Disney Haunted Mansion um, oh limited edition perfume. Oh. And it's Ooh. the only thing that's going to be considered goth from me for tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want that shirt. Mm-hmm. Uh, Torrid is where I got it from. Mm, okay. Oh, my uh, my partner still has a really huge discount from them because uh, that's like endless, like unlimited discount because she oh, used to yeah. work for them. Oh fuck yeah, I love yeah. Ford. Yeah, I like, like them, sweaters. but sometimes they're they seem very over expensive for things yep. that are really thin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's fair. But. If I want to get anything from them, I could just be like, hey, can here's money, buy this for me. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I could get a discount. Oh, this That's bitch. nice. Hey, what I love about these Converse, though, is that they're... Um, Those are Converse? Yeah, they were. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're actually platforms. So they give me an extra... Make me an extra inch taller. Nice. Yeah, I was going to say, they look a little chunky for Converse. Mm-hmm. Platforms. Thank you, Mom. No, wait. I bought these. My mom bought me the pink um, wedge, uh, Converse wedges. <laughs> uh-huh. Also, this button, I have a button on the shirt that just says hentai on it. <laughs> it's pink. It fits the aesthetic. It does. And I'm very, I feel really pretty, pretty with this look. So, um. You are very pretty. Did you put your lips on yet? No, I haven't. Thank you for okay. reminding me. Uh, okay. where did I put... Oh, hold on. <laughs> I don't usually have anything to say, but I hate to you're seem really like I'm not still here. No, you're good. You're good, Zelda. Like, I appreciate that the company, regardless. The... The Texas speech, like is meant to be more for like just in general it's not meant to compel anyone to chat if they don't feel comfortable it's meant to be for in the event that i have folks that want to chat while i'm gaming or drawing like it helps to at least for audio until i'm able to work with obs to where it will also recognize text to speech and when i'm talking with others such as Lexi, Josephine, and Monkey here, being able to pick up all the captions, just trying to figure out all the ways that I can be accommodating and be respectful of as many viewers as I can. Isn't there... I was going to say, because I, I think I've seen something like that before. Um, God, I can't remember the channel, but they had a little, like, buddy um, that they drew. Uh, it was pigeon named doug and i think people would type in a command and whatever they type the pigeon would say i mean that's that's the same thing you're talking about that's more like the audio aspect which i already kind of have which a text to speech going on with a speech chat i don't know how quite i could either expand on that or if i need to do something else entirely to where it will allow the text to speech to be recognized for, say, when I do closed captions. Because currently I'm using a plugin on OBS to do closed captions, which it only recognizes my voice at the moment because it's connected to my microphone. Uh, yeah, I don't think there would be a way. Because unless it did other options, other inputs and outputs other than your mic, I don't think there's a way it could capture us. Right. Yeah. That's one thing that irks me. I would love to find a way to have another input for it so that it can do that. Are you looking it up? Ooh. Oh, sorry. I heard scuffling on like someone's end, and I assume like someone was looking it up. No, I think just Lexi was moving stuff. Ah, uh, okay. 
I'm in Rinka's chat watching her play uh, League of Legends while I chat with you guys. Fair. League is okay. I I've heard mixed it's, things about League. It's not toxic at all. Oh. I mean, yeah, it's pretty fucking toxic. <laughs> God my, God, my cooldown for this stuff is gross. Hi, y'all. Hey. Um, yeah, the lipstick was a bit mu It was a bit. It was a fresh new thing, so it was kind of like chunky at first. So I had to like remove a layer of it. Mm, but, but yeah, I like my lips right now. Very kissable. Very, very shiny. Nice. Fits everything right now. Hell yeah. I'm very happy with this look. So, uh, yeah, I'm not used to being plasticky, so this can be fun. Well, try not to have too much fun. No promises. <laughs> I have uh, all the fun. I really? expect my tongue. I expect nope. my tongue to be in at least five other people's mouths. Oh. <laughs> uh, real quick right, before so, you go, uh, where is this party? Old room, old, uh, former roommate of mine. We're having a Barbie himbo bimbo party. It was. Never mind. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Lexi, before you go, um, I'm still thinking that I want this to be uh, a mirrored kind of thing. So, like, showing both Suzu and Belle. Who mm -hmm. do you think I should draw first with the silhouette? Should I do Suzu or Belle? I want to say, for pro, I want to say uh, Zuzu actually. Okay. In the in the, in the end in the end of the film, it all comes down to just being Zuzu being her, herself. So I feel like it probably strikes a, a probably strike a much stronger chord mm -hmm. if she is more of the focal point more so than her avatar. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's just me. Um. <clears throat> I just got called a good boy from Rika. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. No. Nice. Yes. <laughs> you know, you know what good boy? You know what good boy gets? Good boy gets head pats. That's for Thank sure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Josephine? Not much. You got something to say? Nope. You I think. Head pats? Do you want head pats? Is no. that what you want? Does the brat want her head pats? Uh. <laughs> It's a brat <laughs> want her head pads? Aw, she wants her head pads. Come here, come here. Let me give you head pads. I give you head pads. Mm. Are you happy now, Josephine? Josephine, you're a goddamn tsundere. I, I, I hope when you take a shot, uh -huh. you fucking sneeze and comes out your nose. <laughs> if it Jos happens, I'll let you know. Josephine, you are a goddamn tsundere. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't hear you defending yourself on that one <laughs> because it would be a waste of my breath oh, because right. it's true right waste of your breath waste of your breath right wait so which archetype is road which archetype is lexi and what archetype am i if we're going with anime character love people i don't know if i fit really any of the archetypes uh, honestly duh, I'm... I'm the shonen protagonist bs absolutely you be... bs you want to be the main character bro have you, have you read my lore i I pretty much am. I would say Lexi is a Himedere. Himedere. What the fuck does that mean? I'm a uh, princess. The, prin I the princess sure. one. I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, for monkey, I would. S mm. I was going to say Dere Dere, <laughs> but then I was like, no, that is way too cutesy. Like, you're cute, but you're not that level of cute. Dairy Dairy is, like, disgustingly cute. Oh. That's Almond right there. Oh, absolutely. Okay.
I like how my music just switched over to Pete and Bass. Nice. Thanks, Monkey. Thank you again for introducing me to such iconic grime. Musicians. You're welcome. Uh, so apparently, uh, there's Yandere, Kudere, Tsundere, Dandere, Deredere, Dorodere, Sadorere, and Himedere. I'm sorry, guys. I want to keep up with this convo, but I need to start yeah, heading out. Yeah, you gotta go. No. Go on. Bye bye. Let go me know how, what you guys pick up. Let me know what you guys end up picking out. Okay. Hell yeah. I love you all. Love you. Y'all enjoy Be the safe. rest of your night. Will do. Bye. 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 Also, ain't nobody Yandere. If anyone was Yandere, I'd be fucking concerned. Okay, well, Sadodere is apparently sadistic, yeah. manipulative, barbar barbarous, psychopathic, antisocial, dramatic, bloodthirsty, scary, insane, aggressive, sneaky, cruel, heartless, selfish, smart, and unforgiving. Uh, so that no. one can go away. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, what's the other one? Um, Dolo Dere is violent, hmm. aggressive, bloodthirsty, traitorous, for deception. What, what in the world is it with all of these archetypes that are, like, like, so fascinated with unaliving? Like, what? what? Yeah, so Dere Dere says love-struck, energetic, quick, optimistic, cheerful, happy-go-lucky, creative, happy, honest... Easygoing, friendly, humble, loving, fun-loving, funny, caring, sweet, kind, sensitive, selfless, brave, naive, confused, unfocused, overexcited, overwhelming, and hyper. Dandere is lovelorn, shy, timid, sympathetic, submissive, asocial, insecure, self-loathing, <laughs> cautious, gentle, ugh, vulnerable, kind, love-struck. Quiet, soft spoken, loyal, oversensitive, independent, distant, foolish, cowardly, lonely, nervous, anxious, and sweet. I feel like that's getting closer for you. Me? Because I mean, I feel like you're very sympathetic. I feel you care a lot about like other folks. You're not. I don't feel like you're shy. You're introverted, but it doesn't make it. Sh that doesn't automatically make you shy. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I seem to fit into these dead A types anywhere, yeah. really. Oh, no, apparently there's 55 of them. Wow. Never mind. I'm not going through them all. <laughs> I mean, I'm apparently still these... screaming for a good bit. Can't say which of those y'all are. Apparently these but I can uh, say are adorable eight were beings. just the trending pages. <laughs> Zoda just said, I, uh, I can't. Uh, say which of the dead A's any of you all are, but I can say that you are all adorable beans. Aw, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Aho Dere is stupid, love blind, kind, dense, thick headed, oblivious, slow, and distant. Yep. Okay. Uh, Baka Dere is kind, happy, sweet, dumb, social, funny, slow, clumsy, childish, clueless, silly. Caring, dense, foolish, naive, love struck, reckless, brave, baffled, ditzy, cheerful, friendly, incompetent. Yep, okay. I don't think that fits anyone. Bochandere is cold, heartless, narcissistic, spoiled, greedy, bigoted, rude, murderous, bossy, proactive, manipulative, passive aggressive, immature, cowardly, charming. Disrespectful, insensitive, extroverted, author authoritarian, and love struck. Eh, no. Bokodere. Embarrassed, shy, aggressive, timid, apologetic, impulsive, self denying, violent, paranoid, nervous, mean, self loathing, and love struck. Kidere is kind, sweet, delicate, feeble, frail, weak, polite, caring, sick, sad, and mature. Run through that again. Kind, sweet, delicate, feeble, frail, weak, polite, caring, sick, sad, and mature. Hmm. 
Okay. And that I, we already did that one. Uh, okay. Daru dere, lazy, dull, apathetic, cruel, calm, uncaring, inconsiderate, cold, and distant. Hmm. Erodere, perverted, lustful, flirtatious, seductive, addicted, playful, charming, brave, funny, caring, loving, mischievous. Hmm. Yes? I mean, if we wanted to say in, like, a joking way, that could that could fit either Lexi or really anyone that's in Lexi's server. Yeah. Ouch. I mean that, uh, I mean that affectionately. Gudere. Uh, Hyper-submissive, agreeable, clingy, helpful, close, loyal, serving, confident, enabler... Follower, oversensitive, annoying, foolish, excessive, selfish, exaggerated, excitable, devoted, aggressive, and overprotective. Mm. Gundere. Extreme. Violent. Aggressive, hot-headed, irritable, angry, rude, mean, harsh, dramatic, bittersweet, hostile, immature, vengeful, hot-blooded. Annoying. Not Doesn't blooded, seem like any of y'all. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hi, Zelda hi just put, Yeah, Zelda just put down annoying. Doesn't sound like any of you all. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Nervous, love struck, fearful, bashful, tearful, embarrassed, strange, kind, friendly, polite, flustered, obsessive, caring, loving, sweet, calm, social, withdrawn, and shy. Hmm. I, I'm not feeling that one for anyone either. Hmm. Hayaka Sudere. How's it spelled? H I Y A K A S U D E R E. Uh, Hiyaka. That is the the oh. first bit. Okay, Hiyaka. Flirtatious, seductive, flamboyant, attention seeker. Sarcastic, playful, brave, funny, caring, annoying, immature, manipulative, shallow, self-centered, mischievous. Mm. I was liking that one until the like end ones. Yeah. Um, Inudere, dog-like, cute, funny, friendly, weird, dense, dumb, happy-go-lucky, kind, sweet, clingy, hyper, loyal, and protective. Yeah, I don't think any of these truly fit anybody because they do sort of go with, like, negative character traits that I wouldn't say we have at the minute. I mean, yeah. we have, obviously, probably negative ones, but, like, not those specific ones, you know? Right, because a lot of these uh, negative traits related to these dead A's are also... Stereotypical. I... Yeah, stereotypical, especially of, like, femme folks, which is, eh... Well, some of them do have male character images, like the Ahodere. Yeah, like the Ahodere and the Ojidere, I know, I know are more predominantly masculine. Male, yeah. But it's like, with a lot of Dere archetypes be already being uh, femme as is, and mm -hmm. especially with like a lot of the, a lot of the Dere's uh, stereotypes and archetypes, kind of being sexist already as is with the negative uh with the negative things that they relate to being like like mm -hmm. what can equate to like when someone says oh a f this femme person is just bossy when they're trying to be assertive it's like eh <laughs> like, like you yeah, got what I'm trying is, to say all I know is I'm not Sundari oh you are absolutely <laughs> soon Mm -hmm. Josephine's a cat slime. Hmm? I'm not a cat. No, you're a slime, but you're in the shape of a cat right now. What? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 
explain. You don't like it unless it's your idea. Therefore, cats. <laughs> I hate that. Do you, though? Yeah. No, because it's funnier because... So remember the, the thing I was talking about, the little buddy thing that if someone puts in a command, it'll talk on stream? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I told an artist, I want that, but it's my cat, but my cat <laughs> is an orange slime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There you go. I did it. My my cat is fluffy orange and white. Cute. That's an orange my, tabby, right? My cat is asleep with her eyes open again. It's weird. Here. Close your eyes, baby. Because I, I don't know the, the actual breed name for my cat other than it's an orange cat. <laughs> Most cats don't have breed names unless they're 100% breed. Yeah, uh, you know. Well, because like the only other cats we owned, we had a brother and sister um, that were gray tabbies. Mm -hmm. Freaking love them. They're long gone by now. Um, yeah. They actually lived for a long time. We got them when they were like pretty much less than a year, 2001, and they finally passed. Um, mm -hmm. One passed one year after the other, I think, and they passed away, I want to say 2018, 2019. Oh, dang. Yeah. Yeah, they lived a long time. They were they were well taken care of. Nice. Yeah. So my cat, um, the two females, because one of them is the other one's daughter, um, they have quite like wide heads but small heads and they've got the noses are like their snouts are um very short so they're not squashed nose but they're not like long whereas my other cat salem um he's not related to them he's got very like pointed face compared you know okay yeah I just exploded. Mm. Oh, and now the fun part. Drawing a pleated skirt. The art seems to be coming along well. Thank you, Zelda. I'm actually really glad that I switched to a different way that I'm drawing this, because I do feel like it's coming out a lot better. Oh. Boy. You, you okay there? I'm moving my fat butt. I mean, I'm sure it's still a nice butt. Yes. <laughs> I can't tell if her audio is on me. What? Hmm? What's going on? Yeah, uh, I think Rinka's having some audio issues with with uh -oh. the game. Because uh. I... Someone was mentioning that they couldn't hear it, and I was like, oh no, I hear the, like, the, the effects and stuff, and then I realized Josephine's playing a shooter game. And I was like, oh, uh. maybe it's Josephine's stream I'm hearing. <laughs> Even though I have, like, the one where I'm, I'm talking and the one where I, like, Josephine's, it's very low. Right. Uh, and hers is louder, and I'm just like, oh wait. I don't think there is any. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, this Titan got the toaster. Let's go.
for context, <laughs> there is a weapon in this game. The archetype is called a fusion rifle. Um, just charge it up. It shoots energy and it, it does a lot of damage. Okay. Thanks. There's an exotic one called the Jotun. Mm -hmm. And it shoots a fusion missile at an enemy that's sort of homing and it it, it should insta-kill mm -hmm. if you hit it right. Mm -hmm. It's the size of a toaster. Gotcha. And I'm not making this up. It literally goes over the character's hand and it's just the size of a fucking toaster. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hmm. Also, it's really stupid because it's called a Jotun, but it does solar damage. Lame. Mm -hmm. What the hell was that? Your Fuck mom. <gasps> the gasp. <laughs> Damn hunters and their knives. Where the... Well, he's dead. Excuse you. <laughs> I had to do something. There was too much silence. I think I'm gonna go and do something for a bit. Okay. No. Bye. 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 Try not to have too much fun. Uh, probably. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Now it's just you and me. Y you say as if that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> consumes through osmosis it is why why is it a problem zelda grenades go <laughs> Do you know why you didn't win? You didn't throw enough grenades! That man sent me to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Oof. Whew. I threw, a I threw a giant void ball at his face and he decided to punch me through it and we both died. Ooh, damn. Yeah. Homie just sent me to the back rooms. Holy shit. Yeet. Remember, Rhodes Chat. No matter what you do in life, always remember. <laughs> the Lord yeeteth and the Lord yoinketh away. <laughs> I forget, Josephine, have you seen Bell? I've seen what now? Bell. I guess not. Who's Bell? Uh, it's a movie that came out like last year. Um, think the story of like, it's an homage to Beauty and the Beast with a really interesting twist. Um, also in relation to the world of VR. Uh huh. I, Go on. I don't want to say too much without giving spoilers, or unless you don't give a give a darn. Oh shit! I don't give a shit. Okay. 
So the main character, Suzu, she is, and also spoiler warning for those in the chat that don't want to hear spoilers for Belle. Um, Suzu recently lost her mother because her mother had basically um, put her life at risk to save a child during a severe storm. And Suzu, for a long while, has felt um, ha has felt like she's never really been able to understand why her mother did that. And since then, making really large, really big decisions, whether for herself or for others, has led to severe panic attacks. And right. one of the ways that she uh, does her best to like soothe herself when she's having a panic attack is through singing. But recently with like recently she's tried to get in the local choir and that has been helping somewhat. However, one thing that she's kind of noticed for a good while is that she really doesn't feel like she can sing as she doesn't feel like she can sing for an audience quite yet. She doesn't feel tethered to herself quite yet. And so she's better able to sing confidently in the world of you, which is the, which is the VR in this case. Mm -hmm. She effectively becomes a pop idol on the virtual reality, which has its own consequences there with very yeah. crazy fans therein. But the the bigger bit is that she unknowingly and accidentally becomes the the voice for a an individual who is being ostracized by the by the admins and mods of the world of you because his avatar is looking all janky, it's not beautiful, it's not all this stuff that fits the status quo and image of the world of you. Suzu, whose, um, whose alias in the world of you is Belle, which, which is a wordplay in and of itself, uh, is the only one that really actively tries to talk with this, per uh, with this ostracized individual who goes by the beast or the dragon in the Japanese version. The... Uh, There's a lot. It gets right, keep going. <laughs> uh, through the course of like their interactions, uh, the beast or the dragon and Bell like start to actually form a really good friendship. However, because of the beast still because of the beast looks still not fitting the status quo, the status quo and repertoire of the world of you, the admins and mods, namely one of the members of basically the judge, jury, and executioner uh, who goes by Justin, is like eavesdropping on everything that Bell does, every chance that he gets, in order to try and and get the identity of the beast. Because with the world of you, how it incorporates that what the world of you does is that it creates a persona seemingly based on your your inner self and how and, and a combo of your inner self and how you perceive and want to see yourself. There's always characteristics related to how you look that will be incorporated into your VR persona. So, for example, with Suzu, with her persona Belle, Suzu has freckles, and so Belle has freckle-mimicking makeup. Okay. The identifier for the Beast, we learn through the course of the movie, is patches that are on his cape these patches pop up and they appear to cause him pain 
and the the spots stay there and he become he goes he becomes more and more pained the more spots on his cape there are thanks for in the chat hmm uh, my chat oh they, they did a sound alert it's my nut button oh <laughs> and through the course of bell doing everything to not give the identity of the beast and also her not feeling necessary to know the identity of someone that she is trying to help either eventually there comes to a point where she goes afk for a while well AFK ish, AFK not. Like, because of her status as effectively a pop princess on the social platform of you, everyone is going crazy, going borderline saucing, being like, where is Belle? Like, why? Like, same for us, damn it. While she is trying to figure out where the beast has gone, because the beast has gone into hiding due to Justin's persistence of trying to get his identity so bell is on the search for the beast and at one point while she is seemingly afk because she's trying to not interact with people and not be forced to flip insane because she's worried about the beast uh someone in like someone starts a like a live stream video in relation to oh wait no before we get to the video bit there comes a point to where the demand to know the beast's identity starts going so widespread that celebrities and new and and everyday folk alike start posting videos live and recorded of like, hey, I have these characteristics. We all understand that the world of you uh, portrays personas in relation to certain characteristics. These are my characteristics. There's no way in hell that the beast could ever be my my persona. And so it becomes a witch hunt to try and figure out who the beast is. Come to find yeah. out... Huh? <laughs> Does... What? Forgive, forgive me. What? Does this mean the world ends with you? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, and this is where like the twist happens, and trigger warning for everyone in the chat that's listening in relation to domestic violence. Wondrous. <laughs> Turn the twist is that the beast is actually a high schooler by the name of Kay, whose father is an asshole. Nice. And the defining characteristics for the beast as a persona, the spots on his uh, cape, are in congruence to the bruises and scars that his player, whose name is Kay, gets from when his father hurts him. Wonderful. So then through the what course of... What a twist. Of... Yeah. So then the third act becomes a point to where Suzu and her friends who have helped her like elevate in status in the world of you as a pop princess, all of them work together to at first try and get help through the healthcare system in Japan to try and check up on the kid because with um, with how with, with, with like zooming in on different aspects of the video where there was a video where Kay's little brother who also knows Belle's songs from the world of you has a video playing where the the little brother is singing them with a caption of the video going like where are you Belle we want to see you 
And it's from that video that there's evidence of Kay and his brother being hurt by their father. And it's from that video and high and love and like good ending sort of hijinks ensuing of like zooming into the video and finding a certain characteristic of like buildings from the window and figuring out which part of Tokyo that they're in leading to everyone um, starting to call like welfare services in Japan. They can't do anything. So they've taken in their own hands. They go to the address that they, that they find um, via context clues uh, from the video, uh, confront the father um, more like, and the the confrontation with the father is obviously played up for like oh happy ending because all like Suzu does is when the father tries to yell at Suzu like scream in her face to try and get her intimidated to get away she just screams the one time back in his face and he cowers like away back to his home, like, with his tail between his legs. That seems a bit anticlimactic. Unre anticlimactic, unrealistic, lost to us. <laughs> but in the end, it's meant to be a kind, a sweeter kind of end in relation to, like, Suzu not like not only being able to help Kay and his brother, but also being able to stop the stop the witch hunt that's being done on Kay and his character, because it's from people getting evidence that the the dragon as a persona is just a goddamn kid that people start to back off. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I think... You know, there's definitely certain things in media, no matter what you play it as, like, from video games, from movies, to books, that when you hear words, <laughs> you don't hear them the same as you used to. And when I bring this up, you're probably wondering, what the hell am I on about? Every time I hear the word Persona, it's just Persona the game. <laughs> like, the word has a meaning. But anytime I hear it, I just think, oh, man, I want to play Persona 5. <laughs> I'm so glad that's coming out on Steam. Dude, I'm like, so excited for, for it coming out on Steam, because then I actually get to have a copy of Persona 4. Yeah. Well, Persona 4 is already on Steam. Wait, it already is? Yeah, Persona 4 Golden has been on Steam for, like, ever. Shit. Yeah. Persona I'm... 5 Royal is coming out to Steam soon in October. Um, they did release recently, back in March, uh, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, which makes me really happy. Nice. Because I love the Persona fighting game. And I really want Persona 5 Fighter. Hurry up! They better do it. Uh, I'm sure they will, knowing Atlas. Thanks, teammate. Thanks for getting in my way, you fuck. My super's useless now. Fucking douchebag. But yeah, that's the synopsis of Bell. Cool. Sounds like a fun time. Nothing bad ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who brought suppression grenades to a mayhem fight, you pieces of shit? Don't ask me shit, I don't know.
Ooh, had just enough bullets. Oh god, I was killed by Stifler's mom. <laughs> what? Um, Stifler's mom. It's from American Pie. Oh. I haven't seen that in a good while. Capacitor? Oh, that's just gonna give it a default stability boost. Holy shit. And. Yeah, I might actually use that. Uh, I'm dying. That's 19 leaves. How many more matches do I gotta do? Eighteen out of twenty-five. Uh, okay. You got this. Um, I don't wanna go to school. I just wanna fuck around the pussy. <laughs> So you know that old, that that meme I just mentioned, old old fucking meme. Um, old man runs up to the reporter, grabs her mic, yes. and yells, "Fuck her right in the pussy." Yes. Did you know that? Guess what? That was staged. Yeah, I had a feeling that that had to have been staged. I just ruined everyone's life. Yeah, I was upset. It's like, man, why was it staged? It was actually, you know what's, you know what's more upsetting that I found out was staged. What? Leroy Jenkins. Oh. Yep. Leroy Jenkins was fake. That was all. That was a setup. No. Yep. Yep. No. Another disappointment <laughs> from Blizzard. Bing. <laughs> was that really? Was that really Blizzard's it, fault? It was fake. I mean, you gotta have more shit to blame them for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair. If you think about it, Diablo Immortal is only uh, only has a bunch of microtransactions so they can pay off their lawsuits. Ooh. Ooh, damn. <laughs> damn. Yeah, fuck you, Blizzard. That's why I don't play fucking WoW in forever. I play Final Fantasy, the better MMO. Hmm. Hell, I'm playing one right now. Destiny counts as an MMO. Nice. You know, I can't believe they're releasing Overwatch 1.5. It's <laughs> nuts. You know, I actually... It really is. It's, I, you can't call it a sequel. It's literally just like they... It, it's 1.5. It, it's, it's, it's a glorified DLC. Yeah, I was going to say, and also, didn't... Wasn't there news of, like, as soon as Overwatch 2 is going to be released support for over for overwatch one is going to be defunct so there was like back and forth on that there there's some that says yeah it's, it's gonna be out and they came back and said no that's not true and it's like all right do you even know what you're talking about like what same thing with uh ubisoft stuff because there was there was a thing released by Ubisoft that says yeah you're it's totally cool if you pirate our games. Meh. Like what? And then it, it immediately got retracted. <laughs> and then something about like if you bought Assassin's Creed Syndicate, um, it, it got removed from stores and now you're no longer allowed to have it. Then they changed it. It's like okay you can have it but no one else is able to buy it now. And it's like Ubisoft are you okay? What is happening? You guys I having think, an off day? I think Ubisoft is just trying to find any means necessary to just, just end it. it. Like, stay, to stay relevant? Because usually, like, I hear nothing about Ubisoft anymore. It's usually, like, either 
EA or Activision that are like the big companies right now that are pieces of crap. <laughs> They're probably, I mean, this is kind of a thing that happens with any company or any big thing, just like assuming that any press is good press, even when it is absolute. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I know where you were getting at. Yeah. I am not good at word at using words when I'm trying to draw at the same time. My brain is doing too many things at once. Get fucked. <laughs> Buddy, okay. ah! Ah! Panic grenade. It didn't work. Oh no. Oh, that's a death ball. Hmm. Yeah. Die. Thank you, Shax. But <laughs> your en your enemy can't kill if they're dead. Ask and ye shall receive. Remember, people die if they are killed. <laughs> All right, now I gotta remember how small her nose is. Fuck. Oh, it's like tiny, tiny. Hey, it's average size, all right? I, I, was, I was talking about Suzu's nose. Yeah, same. That's how was slime breathing in space? Um, nanomachines. I mean, I don't have lungs. Literally, my molecules are held stable by a reactor core. Yeah. Duh. Yeah, that's fair. It's behind my boobies. <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing a sh- Does it qualify as a shirt? What the fuck am I wearing? <laughs> Crop yeah, top? top question like mark? Crop top, at least. But yet, yeah, slimes can't feel pain when they about to die. Well, Dad didn't think that through. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, like, there is still the pressure. Under pressure. <laughs> Pushing down, down on, on me. me. I don't know why I just, yeah. <laughs> So, actually, I'm curious to see if we got how many views it has now. What's up? So, I started doing a... I only have one episode of it, but on my TikTok, I wanted to start doing something called... A little skit called Monster Girl Tech Support. Mm hmm. And it's just me taking phone calls, quote-unquote, of people complaining about their monster girlfriends. Okay. The first video has been up for 
three days ago, and it has seven, uh, 1,742 views. That's not bad. It's doing pretty good. I'm proud of it. It's funny. Yeah, you First should one is about goblins. I just have to, like, think, all right, what's the next monster girl I need to talk about? And what is going to be the complaint? Um, hmm. I don't know. The first one is coming to my mind for a choice. This is Succubus. Yeah. I need to name these. God, I mean, fucking eternity again. Ugh. I don't want to be in unknown space. All right, any cool names? Uh, Shaquille Oatmeal. Hmm. <laughs> no biggie. Uh, and the only other funny one I see is Chicken Draws Dogs. Well. Here's a real question. How do a slime get pregnant and give birth? I don't know. I don't think I can. Um, I was created in a lab. Ooh, okay. Double play. I got a triple. Does, does that count as a lights out? No. Okay. Damn. No. That'd have been cool. Lights out is four kills back to back. Oh, dang. Yeah. I've gotten... I think my highest was five? Or did I actually kill a six... A squad of six with one super before? I'd have to look at my medals. But I've also got... Oh, Jesus! You also got Jesus? Yeah, and he went between my eyes. <laughs> Hit him right between the eyes. Yeah. Chief. Okay, then. Ooh, is that another triple? Come on. Oh, they got away from that one. Wait, did you do break out the lab so you go... No, okay. Uh, I, post... well, I didn't really post a lore dump in my Discord of all places. It's kind of funny. Um, no. D Dad sold out his old crew so he can exact revenge because he didn't want his project to be misused. So when he sold out um he created me then broke and then like broke me out with him and yeah he kind of raised me and then I saw a bunch of common Rider stuff and I wanted to be a superhero because common Rider is fucking cool I mean whatever floats your boat do you know Kamen Rider? I do not. So, it's Japanese, for one. Um, it's... Was it before Power Rangers? So, like, the the like the like Super Sentai stuff, you know, comes from Japan. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, it's very similar to Power Rangers, but Kamen Rider means Masked Rider. And it's generally, like, one uh, later in, like, every single one of them there's always like more than one common rider and it's just like a masked superhero in like a, a suit um, okay maybe if i showed you a picture you might have seen something similar to it i mean i likely have seen the I mean, scene it's, something. It's, it's japan only like in the early 90s we got 
we did get a mass rioter, but it was like, you know, the, the the American version of a Japanese show, so it was kind of super cheesy. Uh and bad. <laughs> um, but I'll show you. I actually have a little figure of Mass Rider 1. He's cool. Nice. He's a classic. I had a toy of him as a kid, too. So it was really nice to find a figure of it. I bet. Thanks for the oof. Yeah, right on time, too. I just took a bunch of knives to the face. Oof. Big oof. Sir, do you have a license for that golden gun? <laughs> Bitch. You having fun? Uh, define agony beyond power of speech mm. <laughs> please tell me you got that sure did you actually i don't know <laughs> into Probably the not. woods uh, uh no yeah i don't know that one darn it is it into the woods or night in the woods into the woods no, then yeah, no idea. Darn! I know Night in the Woods. Greg is the best. There's also a goth gator. Weird. Anyhow. No, Into the Woods is a musical by Sondheim. Oh yeah, no fucking idea. I hope you keep it up and keep going. You're a good Twitch streamer. Aw, oh, thank you. Aw, oh, was that Zelda? What? No, it was in my chat, Eli. Nice. Yeah, well, hopefully I can do this full time. Give me money. <laughs> <laughs> Bezos. Um, Here. Common Rider 1. That's 12. That's not the number 1. Oh, I <laughs> fuck out of my neck. Ooh. It felt so good. Uh, that's an art. Eh, I'll show you the figure. I'll show you the figure I have. Oh, okay. I lost the antenna. Don't ask how. I mean, I probably wouldn't have known that there was an antenna. That little guy. Oh. I need to see where you put it. Discord. I privately oh! message you. Okay, that Doesn't character... Doesn't that look familiar? Barely. Yeah, that's a common writer. Um, okay. That's the very first one. The story of the first one is uh, the main character kind of became... Um, after an accident, he became a cyborg. Hmm. Um, and he's got a power belt. And a common Rider always has a power belt, and when he spins the wheel in that, it activates and he transforms into that. Huh, um, okay. There's been a lot of common Riders that have, like, crazier stuff. And when if you ever, like, watched one, they're, like, Japan only, so you'd have to find a website. Um, I had a few saved. Um, anytime they would transform, if one, they would always shout out Henshin, which means transform well, or yeah. change. Which it was, it's always cool to hear because it's just ah uh, so cool, um, but they would like combine like use these tools and you could clearly tell they're toys. So it's like, <laughs> ah, marketing, I see, because my dumbass totally would buy those. Um, the last one I watched was Common Rider Zero One, and it was. They, they all have actually really good stories and themes besides like being a super being a hero and beating up bad guys right zero one is about 
are androids considered human? Ooh, okay. Like, like, should we give androids the same rights as humans? Hmm. Um, and it was really cool. The main character's like outfit kind of had like a grasshopper like color vibe to it, and he would transform into like um, other variants that would give him like powers, and it was really cool. The latest one. Uh, what the fuck's it called? <laughs> the latest common Rider is like is giving me JoJo vibes. Why? Because of like the cringy wordplay for the name? No, uh, because how do I put this? He has a stand. Okay. And apparently, oh, it's ending soon, it looks like. His broadcast dates are for Common Rider Revice, which is the latest one. Right. September 5th, 2021 to August 28th, 2022. So it looks like it might be ending soon. Huh, okay. I haven't actually sat down to watch it, so I might actually have to do that. But uh, Common Rider Revice. Let me just re read this crazy bullshit. Because I read it before, I'm like, I need to fucking watch this. Because he straight up has a stand. It's a fucking stand. Um, it, it takes place in 1971. A scientific expedition in Latin America has uncovered an ancient artifact. I, I'm already thinking it's JoJo. They found the mask. Uh, containing the remains of the, of the demon Gif. Unless it's pronounced something completely different. It's spelled G-I-F-F. I, I would assume GIF. Leading to the creation of the Vi Stamps. In the present day, the remains of GIF now lie in the hands of a demon cult called the Dead Mans. Awesome. Who seek to resurrect him by converting people's inner demons into their fold. Phoenix, a government, a governmental organization opposing the Dead Mans have developed the Revice Driver for someone with complete control over their inner demon. Iki Igarashi, a young man who runs a public bath with his family, comes into uh, acquisition of the belt. Once again, common Riders all have a power belt. Nice. While forming a contract with his inner demon, Vice. Together, as common Rider Revy and Vice, they are common Rider Revice. Okay. Motherfucker has a stand. <laughs> And 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 the art and the color scheme looks like it's crazy diamond. <laughs> Hold up. I never actually looked at this art. This fucking poster. Hold on. I gotta show you this bullshit. I, I'm curious about this. Uh cause you've have you seen or heard no JoJo? Yeah, I I, I know of it. I don't watch it okay. like too often. Okay. Well do you know part four? Diamond is unbreakable? Yes. Okay, so you've seen what Crazy Diamond looks like. Yeah, I... It's the it's the pink one? Right, right, right. Yeah, the, the main character Josuke has it. Hold on, let me... Just fucking send this to you. I'm losing my damn shit. Hold on, I'm also working on... Did they just found a massive JoJo? I don't know, it's just an artifact chat. Like, hold on. I'll even show chat. Hold on. Do it. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll pull this up on screen. Please show this. You just saw that. Bitch. Like, look at this chat. This fucker has a stand and has the same color scheme as Crazy Diamond. Look at this. Like, I, you know, it's Japan, so it's not like they're st stealing their own, like, not really stealing. I'm sure a lot of shit is inspired from one another, because that shit happens all the time. Look at any Dark Souls shit, and you clearly tell the character, the creator had a boner for fucking Berserk. But look at this. That's just Crazy Diamond. <laughs> the fuck is this off-brand of JoJo? <laughs> Thanks, chat. 
and I'm looking at all these. So as you can see, all these like toy things, these devices that are floating around him are what they would use to probably transform to other versions. And that looks like that's a T-Rex. That looks like a shark. I don't know, a fox? I don't know what that would be. And I can't really see the two far ones. That looks like another dinosaur. Hmm. And... I mean, he his helmet looks like a dinosaur, too. That's a praying mantis. Shit, can we just end the stream can we just instead of playing destiny y'all want to watch some common rider <laughs> <laughs> i i might get in trouble if i do that so I'm not yeah you that. would get in trouble hold on maybe if i google youtube uh common rider memes does that count <laughs> they trying to make a power ranger with the jojo stick it wouldn't be the first time when so was the first riders. time uh, so common, so 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 to give an idea, common writer has been a thing since the '60s. Dang. Okay. Uh, I want to say that's correct. Uh, common writer timeline. Uh, uh, okay. Correction. '70s. Okay. That's still a pretty decent bit of time. Yeah. Not as old as Speed Racer, but about as old as Cutie Honey. Yeah, and each and each uh, set of series has it, are called eras. Hmm. Um, and the eras are based on either... I want to say based on when the production company changed hands or something like that. I mean, that's what makes sense to me. Right. But, like, from 71 to 89, it was the Showa era. Um, and then it looks like it stopped for a while... Um, because it came back in 2000, 2009 was the Heisei era. No, Based those are actual Japanese eras. Oh, is it really? And I'm just an idiot? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, those are actual eras in relation Heisei. to who was, uh, who was emperor. Is it he Heisei or Heisei? I think Heisei. Heisei. Ah, okay. The Heisei era phase one was from 2000 to 2009. Phase two was 2009 to 2019 so that was actually i want to say was that the longest one that might have been the longest era they had and currently right now they're in the you know their current era uh reywa yep reywa um and it looks like they already have a broadcast date for the new rider common rider geats starting september 4th 2022 nice. well hey but yeah, no, Common Rider has been a massive thing since, since the 70s. Nice. And it's, it's probably going to be one of those things that doesn't end because they could do a million things with that. You know, if it makes you feel any better when it comes to, like, the era bit, it didn't click in my mind um, the like the era aspect until I ended up watching a bootleg of a Kabuki and the date, like how they wrote, how the Japanese tend to write dates for uh, professional material, especially when it's a live production. They don't write the year like 2000, whatever some do, some don't, but some, the ones that don't, write like 2000 like 2000 whatever for the year write the year in congruence to the era like how long the current era has been in has been ongoing and uh, i noticed that when i was watching a certain kabuki and i was like hold on that's not a year that doesn't that's make sense how... So uh, I had to do some time works. So sir? I had, so I did some digging and I figured out that, yeah, no, it's incongruent that it was incongruence with like how long that specific era had been going on. And then if I remember right, it was the Showa era and it was the production had been recorded, um, 84. 
four, I believe. It's been a while since I watched that Kabuki, so I don't remember all the specifics. But yeah. Cool. Yeah. Also, speaking of speaking of Kabuki, uh, did you know that they actually made a Star Wars Kabuki? <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, I'm not surprised. It's actually really good, though. I wasn't able to, I haven't been able to find a version that's actually subtitled. I'll be honest. I only know of the Japanese eras due to the Godzilla franchise having the first two eras of films named after them. Oh! I didn't know about that. Hmm. Zelda uh, just noted, I'll be honest, I only know of the Japanese eras due to the Godzilla franchise having the first two eras of films named after them. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I don't know either, Eli. I might actually decide to just get like the base colors for Suzu right now and then I'll call it a night. weren't even aiming at me. How the fuck? Aimbot, probably. No. This is bullshit. He was in a super. You good? Yeah. Oh, so you probably saw in Lexi's Discord already, uh, Josephine, but Lexi got me into VR chat. Oh, no. <laughs> Why do you say, oh, no? You'll see. I'll see. I mean, she already took me to a rave, so. I, I don't know how, how much worse things can get. see i mean i've done vr before like i used to play rec room on my on my psvr pretty regularly yeah all right uh give me a minute i'm gonna do some announcements and i'm gonna raid out uh, yeah yeah so one sec yeah yeah
Ah. Excuse me. All right, yeah, I think everyone, after I get, after I finish getting the base colors down, which the last bit is going to be the skirt, I'm probably going to cut it for tonight. Um, tomorrow, I am hoping to stream. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to do more Boyfriend Dungeon and having folks uh, be in the chat with me because yeah. I appreciate people's company. But I should be getting close to done with this. You having fun there? Yeah, I don't think my freaking raid went through, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not annoying at all. Yeah. That's, that's all kinds of wonderful. Oh, it did. It says I'm hosting him. Okay, good. Okay, so I don't, the art I looks nice so far. Yay, thank you, Zelda. Yeah, I'm just thinking that after I get the base colors down, which with what's left is just the the tie and the skirt, I'm going to call it tonight. Just because I'm getting to the point to where it's like drawing, especially with my tablet on my computer, is a lot more effort than drawing with my iPad, which I was really looking forward to do tonight, but Air Server had other plans. <laughs> but yeah, um, Josephine, do you have any streams coming up soonish? Um, well, today was the last one of the week, so eh, we are going to probably start back up next Tuesday. Okay, what's on the agenda for Tuesday? Tuesdays are usually our Horror Thoughts stream with me and Lexi. Nice. Um, sometimes Monkey may or may not be there. Um, it all really depends on what we're doing. Okay. Um, but generally, it's like a horror-themed or monster-themed kind of night. Hmm, Okay. I remember you and Lexi playing, like, World of Horror. Is that still on the table? Yeah, uh, we didn't do it the last couple of times, because I guess, she, I don't know if she just didn't want to. Um, but yeah, no, that is always an option, uh, if she wants to. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm noise well hopefully you have fun with uh with the stream i have been curious about getting into like horror and spooky content like you saw me play phasmophobia with almond not too not too long ago uh, i need to get that game it is honestly a good bit of fun are you kidding me And the worst part is, he uses your mic, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. Guess what sound my sound pad outputs through. Oh, no. <laughs> speed, run, speed run to die first. Just play some dank memes through my fucking uh, microphone. Basically. That, that would be funny. Like, in a very, in a very schadenfreude kind of way. Oh, that's probably that. There we go. Okay. Yes, you are 
the shirt color. You're the tie color. Alright. Uh, now to uh, finalize the tone. Destiny or do I want to do not? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what other games have you wanted to play on your own time that you felt like you haven't been able to? All of them. Yeah, I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, oh, God, I'm dying. No, dying's not allowed. Too bad for you. It, it, it falls against Twitch's terms of service. They don't need to know. <laughs> There's remnants of that there. Come here. Tidy up the line for. Wow, this fucking dude. Oh, you're still playing Destiny? No, uh, I mean, I, yeah, I got four more games I gotta technically do. Oh. But I'm oh. watching Heavenly Father in his chat, and I just see someone just type in, Our Heavenly Father, who art about to clap these fools, please give them their daily losses, send their men mental back into the gutter. Damn! Okay. What's up? Oh. Uh, everything. Valid. What is this color? This back there we go. Alright, I think that is what I am going to do for the base colors right now. I'm now remembering that she has freckles, so I'm going to get some of those freckles on there. 
before I call it a night. Looks good. Thank you, Zelda. I really appreciate it. Alright, that I think will be good for Suzu. So I will save this. That wasn't me, oh. but I agree. Oh, that was Monkey. I am a derp. <laughs> what happened? Uh, Monkey, uh, when I was mentioning stuff about like finishing up uh, stream, because I'm done with like the base colors so far for what I'm wanting to do for tonight, someone had said the art looks good. I assumed that it was... Uh, the Zelda player, because the Zelda player has been the main one that's been talking uh, in the chat for a good portion of tonight. And apparently it was actually Monkey, so Zelda had said, that wasn't me, but I agree. Damn. You fool. And you know what? I'm going to name this in my computer... Bardic inspiration, because why the hell not? <laughs> because I uh, am a nerd, I am a flippin' nerd, and I will die on this hill. I inspire you to fuck the dragon. Um. XD. Where's my D20? <laughs> oh no. Actually, my all of my dice are packed up, so I gotta use a digital dice. You know what? Okay, roll d20. Let's see. I got a four! <laughs> you succeed, but not in the way you think. Oh no. The dragon fucks you. I mean, wouldn't that be... Eh, uh, no, I'm not going to contest it. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> All right, so I am going to call it there for tonight. Uh, tomorrow, I will probably be playing more Boyfriend Dungeon. I'm not 100% sure if I want to keep playing that or if I want to diversify with what I have on my computer since I'm still locked to only stuff on my computer since all of my other stuff is still packed away. But we'll see how things go for tomorrow, so... Josephine, thank you for sticking till the end here in chat as my peanut gallery. <laughs> and for Monkey Mallow and Asterisks, for either when you're here in the VOD or in the chat, thank you for your time. Zelda, thank you so much for sticking through the chat and being supportive. Thank you to everyone that's been lurking for sticking in, sticking with the stream, being supportive. Feel free to step Thanks in. Thanks for the stream. It was Ooh. nice being here today. Yeah, glad to have you here, Zelda. For those that want to see more tomorrow, feel free to hop in. The day after, I'll probably do some drawing as well, so you'll see a continuation of this. Hopefully things will be a little more professionally done this go-around. But with that, I want to give you all a good night. Thank you so much for your time, and have a happy time zone.